Welcome back. Now, let's talk about some big changes coming to macOS. Since its introduction, macOS has revolutionized the experience of using a computer by combining incredible power with incredible ease of use. And it's loved by all different types of users, from families and students to creative pros, business people, and of course, software developers. And this year, we're taking the macOS experience you love even further. But what should we call it? Well, if you're a student of macOS, you know this question can only be answered by Apple's legendary crack marketing team. Their drug-fueled, minibus-driven vision quests have yielded some great names and sadly spawned a host of imitators. The truth is, we can't responsibly continue to inadvertently lead our competition to copy these methods when they clearly can't handle the trip. So this year, we're leaving our process shrouded in mystery and taking you straight to the glorious destination. Our next release of macOS is macOS Big Sur. macOS Big Sur introduces an entirely new design and major updates to some of the most essential apps on the platform. And just like its name, Big Sur brings you unmatched levels of power and beauty. Let's start with design, where we're making the biggest change since the introduction of macOS 10. To tell you more about the philosophy and incredible craftsmanship behind the new design, Here's a short video with Alan Dye. At Apple, design has always been about great ideas. Those ideas then are developed with this obsessive dedication to detail. If we care enough about all the details that make up a product, then in the end, we will design an experience that really feels like there's no other way it could be. And the best example of this is Mac OS Big Sur. Our goal was to bring even more clarity to the design of the software while retaining the Mac's powerful capability and ease of use. We started with the simplest of elements, from the shape of a corner radius to refinements and buttons and controls. And we brought our unified language of symbols to the Mac, making them more consistent and easier to recognize. Depth, shading, and translucency are used to create hierarchy. These new materials are rich, and they're vibrant. They bridge light and dark. We've reduced visual complexity to keep the focus on user's content. Buttons and controls appear when you need them, and they recede when you don't. There's a new way to access system-level controls and a unified space for notifications and widgets. We've also created a new suite of sounds that are familiar to the Mac, but remastered and more refined. We wanted consistency throughout the ecosystem so users can move fluidly between their Apple devices. But we also love that Mac icons have a deep history and a distinct look and feel. So we retain many of the highly crafted details and the playful elements that make Mac icons unique. This OS reflects an important history. It's familiar, but it's also entirely new in every detail. We love the Mac. It's the tool we use to make all the products that we put out into the world. And Mac OS Big Sur is where it starts. So that's the thinking behind our new design. Now, let me show it to you in action with a demo. As Alan said, we've refined some of the most iconic elements of the Mac experience. Let's start with the dock. It has an elegant new design that floats along the bottom of your desktop. And you'll notice that we've created gorgeous new app icons for all of your favorite apps. Speaking of apps, let's take a look at the Finder. You'll notice it has a gorgeous new top to bottom design for the sidebar. And it has a compact, space efficient toolbar. Makes it really easy to get to all of your controls. Next, let's take a look at Mail. You can see that Mail has all new glyphs in the sidebar. And you may have noticed that we brought color back as well. Now, each app uses its own key color, and that same color is used for the elegant new rounded row selection style here in the message list. Now, the toolbar makes it really easy to get to all your controls. Check out how the search bar expands as I click on it. And of course, other operations like filtering, well, they're just a click away. Next, let's take a look at Photos. It's just stunning. You can get to all your albums and media types from the sidebar, and the photo grid is backed by metal, 
So animations are super smooth, whether I'm scrolling, transitioning, or zooming all the way in or all the way out. Beautiful. Now, we've refreshed the design for all the apps on the system, from apps like Calendar and Notes, to podcasts and music with its new Listen Now pane, and an all new version of iWork that features a simplified toolbar. You may have noticed we've also updated the menu bar. It's now translucent and elegantly takes on the color of your desktop picture. And we've updated the layout of menus as well. We've given all the items just a little bit more room to breathe. Now on the Mac, we love our ability to get directly at controls like Wi-Fi or sound, and you can see that we've reworked these to be even more useful. But we've gone even further this year by giving you one place to get at all your controls. We've brought Control Center to the Mac. All of my controls are here, and it's really easy to make adjustments. For instance, I could change display brightness here, or I can click to dive in for more, like turning on dark mode or activating night shift. And what's really cool is that I can customize the menu bar with any of these controls. So say I want one-click access to Do Not Disturb. Well, I can just click and drag it right into my menu bar and customize just like that. Now, we've also reinvented Notification Center. You can access it by clicking on the time in the upper right. And as you see, we now have a single view that brings your notifications and widgets together all in one place. And we now group related notifications together. You can easily expand them to take a closer look or clear them all out in one step. And we're bringing our redesign widgets to the Mac. They're really beautiful, and you have all new ways to customize them. I'm just gonna click Edit Widgets down here at the bottom. And you can see I have a gallery of all my widgets, and they come in a variety of sizes. I can select between them just like this. And developers can bring their own widgets as well, like this one here from day one. Now, adding widgets is easy. Let's uh, start by adding, say, the world clock. Maybe I'll add notes in. And it'd be kind of cool to add my reminders list as well. So that's a look at Widgets Notification Center and our all new design in Big Sur. Next, there are exciting updates for some of the